Hi guys, this is Grivelli again with another fountain pen review and the pen that we're going to talk about today is the Pilot Prera. The Pilot Prera is a cute little pen. I would say it's in the entry level or upper entry level fountain pen price range, so to speak. It costs around 25 to 30 euros or here in Sweden around 300 crowns, 250 Swedish crowns, something like that. So it falls roughly into the price category of a Lamy All-Star maybe or something like that. I got the pen here in white. It comes in a number of different uh, finishes um, in different colors. Um, it has. It also comes in sort of like demonstrator pen, translucent, transparent finishes with different smoke gray or 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 blue colors, and 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 also it comes in a in a full plastic as a full color filled finish in white and brown and green and all kinds of colors. It's a it's definitely a cute little pen. Um, it comes in a different number of nib sizes or in a variety of nib sizes. It's mostly available in medium in, in, in Europe, but you can also get it in fine from Japan, I think. Um, be aware that this is a, a Japanese pen, Pilot Japan. So uh, Asian nibs, they normally are, run on the finer side. So this medium that I have here will write approximately as a western fine nib like a lamy fine nib or something like that that you might be used to um let's talk about the pen the design of the pen is a very classic classic fountain pen design um you know more or less cigar shaped cut off tops a little bit thicker in the middle tapering down towards both sides it's roughly the design the rough design that for example also the um, Sailor Pro Gear has, or the Sapporo, a very nice, very classy design <clears throat> on that on that pen here has a metal ring here at the end that is more or less a a decoration element, but it also used to post the cap. It says Pilot Japan here. That's pretty much it. Another small decorative metal ring here on that snap off or pop off cap a very nice classy shaped decent shaped clip springy works very well to fasten it into the shirt pocket another small metal ring here and a silver cap here that is very shiny i can even more or less see the camera in here what i find nice about this flat top um is that when you uh, uh, put the pen into a short pocket um, it will come up until here so you won't have like a large top sticking out of your short pocket so it fits really deep and securely into your short pocket uh, that's more or less everything that there's that's there is to say about the design of the pen as said it's a it's a pop off cap has like this inner a plastic inner cap that prevents the nib from drying out which works very very well i've actually never had an issue with picking that pen up uh and that it wouldn't write or something like that it then has a section that also tapers down with another small metal ring here um it's a plastic section not slippery comfortable size it's not a very short section but also not a very big section just all right um it's a fairly it's a fairly short pen i have to say i'll do a size comparison in a minute to other pens it's a very short pen um you can see that uh unposted it's it's okay for me to take a couple of quick notes, but for longer writing sessions, I would definitely post that pen. Otherwise, it's just too short for me. There's no problem because it it posts fairly fast and fairly securely. It's a it's a pop of pen. I mean, this is like a really nice pocket pen, also a le very nice note taker. Because for short notes, you just pop off the cap, and there you go. And if you want to have uh, if you have a a longer writing session, you want to take a little bit more notes. You just post the cap as said posts super securely no chance this thing is going to come off and then you have a pretty lightweight but still comfortable weight and perfectly sized writer uh, which i really like um as to the nib it's a steel nib that this thing here comes with the pilot prera um says 
Let's see if the camera picks that up. There's a little bit sun outside at the moment. Mm, yeah, Pilot Super Quality Japan and M4 Medium. Now you can see it better. Pilot Super Quality Japan M4 Medium. Very nice nip. Pilot does make it's. This is the typical Pilot feed. That's the feed that you also find with those um, with the grooves in that direction instead of that direction. A ver um, a vertical instead of horizontal. That's the feed that I believe you also find on the Pilot Prera, uh, on the Pilot Metropolitan, for example. That should be roughly the same feed. Um, very, very pleasant nips. Very nice to ride with. That nip is um, super smooth, a bit springy, soft, offers a little bit of spring. It's not semi-flex or something like that, but it's really not, it's by no means a rigid nip. It's by no means a rigid rider. Very comfortable, very, very smooth to ride with. Very nice nip. So I think that uh, that's all that there's to say about the pen. Let's jump into, I said it's a fairly short pen. Let's jump into a quick size comparison before we do a writing sample. Um, so um, this here is the... Prera, uh, as a benchmark, I often throw in a Lamy pen. So this here is uh, a Lamy All Star, and then we could also throw in another fairly short pen. Uh, that is a Pelican M205, and then we might as well throw in a Caveco Sport, which is also a fairly short pen. So you see that. Um, the Prera is a little shorter than an M205 and about one and a half centimeters, I would roughly say, longer than a Caveco Sport. Now let's uncap those pens. So you see that. Something like that, maybe. So the Prera again, a little shorter than the M205, which is more or less on the lower end of what I would feel as a comfortable writer lengthwise in my hand. Um, it's a bit girthier at the section, the Prera, which I find nice. So it's it's not too thin to hold for me. Um, and when we post the pens. You will see that the Prera now becomes a very comfortable sized, comfortable sized writer, falling roughly into the category of the Caveco Sport or the Lamy Safari, so or, or All Star. So you see, once the pen is posted, uh, it's about the same length as a Caveco Sport or uh, a Lamy All Star. And as I said, what I find nice about the Prera is that the section is not too thin; it's quite. Not not really chunky or girthy, but like it's it's just good enough, right? It's just good enough to be comfortable to hold. Um, before we jump into the writing sample, of course, what you need for writing obviously is ink, and uh, that is one flip side that I have to point out for you uh, with that pen here because it uses the Pilot. Was it it called um, Con Fifty converter? And that Con Fifty converter actually holds. I mean, next to no ink, right? I have an empty Con50 here, um, and uh, the Con50 sits in the pen with that part here that like sort of like grabs around uh, the that pin that sticks out inside of the pen. So actually, that's where you have the ink inside. And if you compare that um, to a standard international short cartridge, this also doesn't ha hold that much ink. And I mean. The, the Con50 is not so much wider than a standard international ink cartridge, so you could probably, I mean, I'm not doing a milliliter uh, kind of comparison thing here, you could probably safely say that it holds half or less than half of a standard international short cartridge, and I think that is 0.5 or 0.6 milliliters of ink, so that's maybe 0.3 or something like that, or 0.22 milliliters of ink, so... That's really not a lot of ink. Um, so it's up up to you to decide if that is enough for you or not. I mean, I don't find it too bad because I'm often around an ink bottle so I can refill the, the pen quite quickly. And I find it's also quite nice because you get to change ink colors more frequently, which is also kind of nice. But um, if you want that pen to write long texts page after page, that might 
not be the pen for you or you always got to walk around with the travel inkwells or something like that. Um, I use that as a pocket pen, you know, when I'm on the run out and about because I like that it sits deep into in a short pocket. So I just use that with my traveler's nose, notebook or something like that or a pocket notebook when I'm out and about. Um, and I normally don't take that many notes when I'm when I'm out and about. So so it, it works pretty well for me like that. Uh, it's not really a desk and also because like you can just pop off the cap and it's like a very fast note taker, uh, as I've pointed out before. It's not really a desk pen for me, but that's just my personal use case. And um, so as to the end of it, let's jump into a writing sample with that. I'm going to post the pen for that here with that Pilot Prera. As said, uh, so now the nib is coming up. Very nice, very nice nib. Pilot Prera. I really like the way it writes. It's a bit on the wetter side. This here is a medium nib. Japanese medium. Um, I've, I think you can see the the nib moving here a little bit when I write. Right, it's it's as I said, it's a it's a it's a nice and springy nib. So it also going to offer you a little bit of line variation. So this year is with no pressure. Now I apply a little more pressure. You see that. Now I apply quite a lot of pressure. You see the tines spreading out here. Um, so you're going to get a little bit of line variation here. If that's what you're looking for, I wouldn't write with that, uh, like that with the pen all the time, but you definitely get some very smooth, very nice. The ink, uh, the ink that it's loaded with is uh, Emerald of Chivoy, J. Harbin, uh, Emerald Chivoy. Um, I own, always use that ink without the sparkles. I let the sparkles sit, sit, sit down at the bottom of the bottle and uh, then I see quite a wet writer and then I load the pen with ink. Um, what I could maybe do is a compare. Let's see if I have another. As I said, this is a, a Japanese medium nib. I might compare that um, to a... What do I have here? Um, maybe a Lamy. That Lamy here. That's a fine. So you see that uh, Pilot. So you see that uh, Pilot medium compares roughly to a to a um, uh, Lamy fine. That's something that you might also want to consider. Um, yeah, that's that. There's nothing much more that there's um, to say about the pen. Writing sample is done. I find it's a cute little pocket pen. Um, quite affordable for around 25 to 30 euro. Um, nice pen. Um, that's that with the review of the Pilot Prera. I hope you enjoyed the review and I'll see you at the next review. Bye bye.